<laughs> Ten voice. Yes, we have a special surprise guest on the Sports Center today. Of course, I'm the special. Leon. Abi, you know that. Leon. Two men against the brook now. KCB. Yeah. Rockstar. And they call me you Jim. Mama 19. 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 Mama Lighting. Okay, Mama so he's Lighting. brought all the other uh, to the studio today. Oh, yeah, of course. Chaotic member. <laughs> yes. The new chaotic member. K- yeah, yeah. Then I'm John. Yeah. I'm John K. Yeah, that's good. K. K. Yeah. K. K. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, no, wait. The big news in sports today is that Liverpool is facing Napoli tonight yes. in the Champions League. Tonight. Yes, tonight. tonight. Big night or big night? Liverpool, Napoli. I don't know the difference in big and middle. Oh, yeah, what? Well, night and big night. Big okay. night. Okay. From 2.30 to the big night. I ain't yeah. say no, no, that night, though. I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> George, what time is calling you? Oh, 7.45. 7.45. 7. Oh, okay. Not it's big night. It's like you FM. Who are who? Liverpool, Liverpool and, and Napoli. Napoli. Liverpool and Napoli. Uh-huh. You need one to win. Yes, one yes. to win. Of course. Why are you winning? Napoli? Oh, no, 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 no. And Napoli, of course. No, 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 no. Ah. Liverpool going because that's all. Napoli can you can score. Ah, Liverpool. You don't know Napoli or no, no, no. If, if I look, go to, you don't win. That's all. If you go to, you give me four. Juju. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it. The anointed one has spoken. Anointed one. <laughs> Lil Wayne has declared the winner for tonight. Lil Wayne, may your anointing never finish. Oh, yeah, anointed before. Yeah, you anointed yes. before. They have to anoint me. Oh, anointed Liverpool before. Ah, no problem. Yes. <laughs> so, how come you were with Man U over the weekend? This weekend, yes. Oh, no, no uh, I'll go to. Uh, Old Trafford. Because, yes. But, Old Trafford. Uh, I was showing on, on the on, on before. That's right. I'll go to the stage. To watch the game. But, you were showing on the, on the before. <laughs> yeah, but so, watch. You can't change the piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's too for her, then. It's too for her. Oh, uh, Manchester versus uh, uh, oh, Arsenal. Back, no. Arsenal. Oh, yes. Arsenal. Ah, Arsenal. I'm in the stadium. Oh, that was your home. Me and Mourinho, Rashford. Rashford. Oh, we're going to have a Oh, of course. Of course. Lewin, thanks so much for joining us today on the Sports Center. Thank you so much. There's more coming up. But Danny, let's say happy birthday. You know, chaotic birthday out straight away to Mrs. Diana. <laughs> a free Ado, you know, she's a wife of uh, our friend, Mr. Ado, you know, the Ghana Commission, High Commission, the UK, you know, fantastic one. So, happy, yeah. happy birthday. K, 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 Amazing young men, Gerald yeah. Witten, Kwating Dazi, yeah. and Daywon Michael Adadi Dazi of Dara Christian School yes. in Kumasi. Okay, right. Joy Sports Center, probably brought to you by the Anointing. By Lil Win. And, and uh, it's also brought to you by <laughs> MTN. Welcome to the new world. Standard Chartered Bank here for good. Epac blows your pain away. Multi-TV just thrills. Says the season to be jolly. It can only get better on MTN Momo this Christmas and beyond. Send 200 Ghana cities or more to other MTN Momo users. Get rewarded with 60 minutes free airtime instantly guess what it doesn't end there keep receiving international remittances using your mtn momo and get rewarded with 60 minutes free airtime instantly as well go on keep using your mtn momo wallet to send and receive money worth 200 ghana cities or more and talk non-stop this christmas season with mtn everywhere you go it's a season of rewards and you don't want to miss out on all the excitement that comes with shopping your standard chartered visa debit or credit card provides you with exclusive privileges and benefits like never before and up to five times the reward points on travel supermarket fuel spend and more redeem your reward points for access to the best brands flights hotels and many more from our exclusive catalog so what are you waiting for register at rewards.sc.com slash gh with your standard chartered visa debit and credit cards and start redeeming non-stop rewards today Call our client care center toll free on 0800 740 100 on all networks or visit any of our branches for details. Standard Chartered Bank, here for good. And here for sport, let's get into it. Tonight could be nightmarish. I mean, definitely for Liverpool, the red faced Napoli, and they must win by a two goal margin to reach the round of 16 of the UEFA Champions League. And Insigne scores! Milner 
Milner steps forward and beats Ariola low to his left. He celebrates in front of the cop. It's a huge roar from Milner. The penalty box, Tristan Gunn turning, trying to left foot. Can he take a shot? Bobby Firmino makes a point with one hand on his eye. What an absolute trip. More to come on the UEFA Champions League. But first, the Ghana Football Association Normalisation Committee Chairman, Dr. Kofi Amwa, has stated that meeting players of the various divisions has given the committee a wider vision of reforming Ghana football. Some Premier League Division 1 and women's football team captains interacted with the committee yesterday with, a, with top of the agenda being the welfare of the players. Normalisation Committee Chairman, Dr. Kofi Amwa, after meeting, outlined the importance of this to Joy Sports. Listening to them, you begin to see that a lot of them have some good ideas that they have shared with us. So we are taking all this in and then use that to help us formulate the way forward. Uh, but I also want to thank our brothers and sisters who own football clubs. Uh, we have heard some of the frustrations that they also go through. So the problem facing us are equal to the opportunities facing us. So we are not daunted. We think we can sail through. And, and, and by meeting with these specific football communities, we are getting there. The, the vision of how, how to reform Ghana football is gradually coming to us. Doc, did the meeting give you an idea of how these players are really struggling here on the local scene? Yeah, they are. I mean, uh, their salaries, uh, they talked a lot about their salaries uh, not being adequate. Uh, you talked about their salaries not being consistently paid um, but we also understand the backdrop of some of it which is the lack of revenue that also must go to the football clubs Karela United skipper Goffrey Saka hopes the normalization committee will take the contributions from the players and reforming Ghana football it's very important it's very important because we have what, what, what goes over there without the players no football without the football people no players no football so I think uh, it's important that we have to view out our problems and then what, we, what we can get to. We have said all, and then what we said, I, I think the contributions, are, everything was okay. The way the, way the players, we exposed ourselves, I think uh, everything was okay. So I think uh, we are praying that they'll do something about it and then we'll continue from there. Former player Yusuf Chipsap, who is now the General Secretary of FIFPRO, a welfare buddy of players, was in the meeting. He thinks the move by the Normalization Committee was a step in the right direction. The players are the are the major stakeholders of the game. I mean, without the players, uh, there will be no football. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a step in the right direction for the normalization committee to meet the players. I mean, we've been waiting for this for a very long time, and thank God that we finally had the opportunity. Mm -hmm. In terms of the key things that were discussed at the meeting, what, what were some of them? Uh, to summarize everything up, you, most of the points the players raised were about their welfare, you know, working conditions and, and issues like that. So. I think that is the most important thing af affecting uh, our football now. But, uh, globally, you could see finance is, is, is a, a global challenge mm. to, to the sport at the moment. Um, even clubs in Europe are having financial problems. But then it's about the management. Uh, they are able to go around it very well. They are able to manage it very well. And that is why the game still looks attractive over mm. there. I think we, we, we will be able to do the same thing here. Now, away from yesterday's meeting, the Black Satellites coach, Jimmy Cobbler, is hopeful of turning his side's Waffle Under-20 campaign around after Jackie starts. Ghana lost 1-0 to Nigeria in the opening game and must win the second group game today against Nigeria or exit the competition, which has been held in Togo. Coach Cobbler believes they can beat their counterparts from Nigeria. For us, we believe that it is not over until it is over. For now, it is not over. We have another game with Nigeria and we have seen few corrections. We'll go and make it. We believe by Tuesday we'll be ready for them. We're coming in very strongly to win because we've seen few corrections we're going to make. And I think we should pray hard for us to get to love that day. Uh, let's do boxing now and Ghanaian boxer Isaac Dogbe is still trending following his shock defeat to Mexican boxer Emmanuel Navarrete in the WBO Super Bantamweight title contest over the weekend. His father and trainer Paul Dogbe has been explaining what caused his son's defeat. In this fight, you know, Isaac did not go into this fight fit because we had to use the sauna you know and steam room and all the madness to lose the weight because you know when we just did not I, I i wouldn't say we we prepared but not like how we used to prepare you know because we're having a lot of um, visitations like um we had all these royal visits and then we had um we came isaac had to travel from a training camp to ghana 
again travel here and there you know we did not have a full training camp so that really cost us you know this fight and we underestimated mexican and you know and we're relying on our power now chelsea have suspended four people from attending matches while an investigation into the alleged racial abuse of Manchester City forward Raheem Sterling takes place. The incident involving the 24-year-old Akeh during City's 2-0 loss at the Stamford Bridge on Saturday. We can hear from former Wolves player Kyle Henry, who is one of those in support of Sterling. I think he's got a very, very good point. You see the two articles. It's a, a comparison of two young players at, at Manchester City. Uh, one in Phil Foden has played a few first-team games. Both of them very talented players. They both buy houses. Um, one is a, a, accused of, of maybe not playing any first-team games, and and it's um, the, the implication is, you know, what is he doing? What has he done to, to deserve this? And and the other one is um, he's setting himself up for the future and buying a lovely house for his mother. So I think Raheem certainly got a point, um, and it's something that needs to be be looked at. And and by the by the, the, the looking at the comments um, from other players, other uh, black or ethnic minority players. There's a huge support for, for Raheem. So Champions League next and the climax of the UEFA Champions League group stages on European nights on joy. We'll see three teams join already qualified teams to the round of 16 tonight. Now our featured game will be that one between Liverpool and Napoli with build up at 7.45. You do join us there. But ahead of that, remember Liverpool are third in Group C and need to win by 1-0 or by any two-goal margin to go through. Here's Jurgen Klopp. Because the situation, we are responsible for the situation in a good in a good way, like in a bad way. Because we qualified for the competition, the group was a, is a hard one. That was clear when you when we when we got the draw, and now we have the chance still to go through, and that's that, that's um, really special. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a it's a big opportunity for us, and um, yeah, we will try everything to to put it right. Napoli need a point to go through and may even qualify if they lose. Head coach Carlo Ancelotti is looking forward to the game at Anfield. Because everyone wants to play in one of the best stadiums in the world, as atmosphere. And after that, it's true that there are a lot of Liverpool supporters, but it's true also that there are 3,000 Napoli, from Napoli supporters and also 40 million around the world that support us. And we have to consider also this. Now, the other team to consider then is Paris Saint-Germain, who qualify if they win at Red Star Belgrade. But any other result for PSG, we'll see them relying on the result at Anfield. Now, the other last 16 place for grabs will go to either Tottenham Hotspurs or Quedjo Samuels Inter Milan, who are level on seven points each in Group B. Spurs are away to lead us Barcelona and will qualify if they better or match Inter Milan's result against PSG at home. There's a lot really to look forward to. Remember, we'll keep you up to date with existing permutations as the goals go in tonight. Our build-up is at 7.45. Liverpool versus Napoli will be at Anfield. Yes, and Liverpool would carry the date. That is what you added. I didn't add that. And uh, the my editorial said we'll be at Napoli. Okay. Yeah. Or we'll be at Anfield. I'm just quoting for Napoli. the anointed one little win who has declared on behalf of Liverpool. Who anyway. Here. Um, that the song you heard at the beginning of the of the sports center is Lewin's new song with Kwame. You just yeah. it's called Anointing, yeah. and that's how come you're calling him the Anointed One. That's so, right. That's uh, you right. want to check that song out. <laughs> Have yourself a great day, um, and it's going to be with us here on the Super Morning Show. We're going to take these important messages when we come back from the Stanbank Bank Money Tip. We groove. Stay with us. <laughs> 